Aloha everyone, Max with Asian Geek Squad, and today we have a quick unboxing of the Samsung Galaxy S23 in purple. Alright, let's go ahead and jump right in and get started. Alright, so in the packaging this year, we have the SIM tray ejector, we have the USB-C to USB-C charging cable, and we have the quick start guide. So just as a heads up, no wall brick included. And let's go ahead and check out the phone. Before we check out the phone, we have a message from our sponsor. And today's sponsor is from Rakuten. Rakuten is a website I use to get cash back on my favorite websites. So for example, here at Samsung, you can get 15% cash back if you purchase a mobile device, laptop, or tablets. So that's perfect if you're pre-ordering the Samsung Galaxy S23 lineup. And in addition to that, you get $30 by signing up using the link in the description below. Back to the show. Nice. That purple really pops out. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and remove the plastic. Alright, while this is powering on, let's go ahead and remove the rest of the plastic. So here it is, the Samsung Galaxy S23 in purple. Really nice. And after holding the S23 Ultra, <laughs> this is a really nice and grippable and holdable phone. Alright, let's go ahead and look, take a look around and also talk about some specs. So here we have the 6.1 inch Full HD display and we have a 120 refresh rate. Now this only goes down to 48 so you don't get that slow one refresh rate that's reserved for the Ultra. And here are the dimensions of the device. So 70.9, 146.3 tall and really thin at 7.6 millimeters at 168 grams. The S23 has the latest Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 mobile platform for Galaxy, the same as the S23 Ultra. And this comes in two different configurations, 8GB with 128GB of storage and 8GB of RAM and 256GB of storage. I suggest going out and splurging for the 256, especially if you keep your phones for a long time, as this does not have expandable storage. I really like the two-tone of the purple with the framing. Here on the side, we have the power button and the volume up and down rocker. And here on the back, we have the three cameras. And here on the back, we have the three cameras. The top one is the 12 megapixel ultra wide camera. This is the main sensor, the 50 megapixel wide camera. And here we have the 10 megapixel telephoto camera. Nice. Here on the bottom, we have the USB-C charger. The S23 can do fast charging up to 25 watts. We have the speakers here and we have the SIM tray. And here is the SIM tray slot. You have room for one nano SIM and one nano SIM only. This does have electronic SIM in case you want to go that route. So earlier we talked about the 6.1 inch display. Something else we have here is the front facing camera, the 12 megapixel front selfie camera, which is the same selfie camera with the S23 Plus and the S23 Ultra. So it's nice that you don't make too many sacrifices on the hardware for the S23. Now one thing that is a little bit smaller than the rest of its siblings is the battery. So this has a 3900 milliamp battery. So smaller than the 23 Plus and the 23 Ultra. But with the display size, this should last you a whole day. So very subtle design changes this year. And primarily, the first thing you'll notice with the design change is the cameras no longer have this corner housing. They're all separate and individual. And for me, I like that better. I also like the purple backing and the frame of the device. So don't forget to subscribe. We have lots of case reviews coming. All right, guys, that's our quick unboxing of the Samsung Galaxy S23. If you guys have any questions, don't forget to leave us a comment down below. Thank you guys for watching. Aloha.